We're looking to have the federal government turn the oversight over to the states, and that would be in turn also Pennsylvania, so that we can look into why the service costs so much, uh, on, uh, what the protocol is upon which it might be used, and to be able to give that consumer some protection on a, what is a vital service, but at the same time, they need to know uh, how and why it costs them what it might cost, and that it's a fair cost. Well, the federal government does have control over the costs, the routing, the service itself with the air ambulances. It's a growing business since 2000. They have quadrupled or more in the country. Uh, it's an essential service in a lot of cases, but as it stands right now, there's no transparency and no way to judge what the cost is going to be. Um, people who end up having to ride on one of the air ambulances for their for their for their health safety at the time may end up seeing a balance bill from anywhere from thirty to fifty thousand dollars it just kind of overwhelms them they really didn't expect it didn't see it coming weren't told in advance that that kind of thing might be there and we're also kind of wondering about in some cases the protocol upon which they are demanded to ride the ambulance when maybe that wasn't the only way they could have been served in some cases absolutely but in some cases maybe not